Spinna, how's your food? Yucky. It's yucky? Oh, I don't know if you got enough ketchup on there. Oh. I need more ketchup. You need more ketchup. I can't taste it. Because <laughs> your tongue's broken. <laughs> no. How are we doing this morning, guys? Because it needs more ketchup! Mm -hmm. Are we having a good time? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Is it good, Gigi Beavers? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. It's a brand new day. Yay! I just finished editing my vlog where I had my meeting with Shay. I was pretty crazy. Going through all that footage again. Oh my god! Yeah. So, uh, hope you guys enjoyed that. Today is gonna be a crazy day because we're getting ready for our cookie party, which is tomorrow. By the time this vlog goes up, you will have already had it, so hopefully it went well. We still have a ton of things we have to do. Ton of things, Julie. A literal ton. Yeah, a literal ton. Is, is the cookie dough gonna weigh a little ton? Me. Because if it is, I don't think. I think we should check our recipe. She <laughs> I don't no, but, but I gotta go to the store here pretty soon. Yeah, you do. Yeah, and then I uh, get get the last ingredients, and then uh, we gotta clean this place up and just get ready. So. Hey, what would it be like? If and this we have happened? to like, and make some cookies. Hey, maybe? Shop for me. Yeah, make cookies and shop for Aurora's so, you know birthday. And yes. 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 It's, it's going to be crazy. Hopefully we can get enough shopping done so I don't have to go back to the store in between now and Aurora's birthday. That would be the best thing. Because it's going to start getting too crazy. What? And my princess birthday. And your princess birthday? Oh. Oh. Is it princess? Or is it, it girl in the forest? It's a princess. All right, guys, let's let's finish up our breakfast, um, and then we got to get to work. We got tons of cookies to make. Oh no, I'm suddenly feeling very tired. And I need to go lay down and not do anything all day. I was also day. gone when you were here. <laughs> You're mean to me. You got to make me a list. I was wrong. It's a list. <laughs> it's a list. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'll go to the store. I was Yay. thinking about giving myself a, a long mohawk. Oh, yeah? Yeah. A long mohawk? A long mohawk, so shave both sides. Okay. And then just have it in the middle. But not, like, up. Like, different varying styles, but not straight up, no. Yeah. Because it's too long for that. And right, I don't, I don't, don't even... I that oh. look. I don't I even know how you'd be able to do that. Like the... <laughs> Star Trek Discovery? <laughs> I can't remember her name. But she works on the. Does she have a mohawk? Yeah, so it's it's both sides, but it's oh, okay. long and all like braided and beautiful. Okay, if you say so. Yeah. I'm thinking of cutting my hair short. So. I know, you weirdo. <laughs> it's okay. Right before, I don't think I'll be coloring my hair when we're on the road. Yeah. So we're going. We're going to be going at such a fast pace. We'll see. We'll see. I think. I think coloring is fun. Mm. I'm. Not, well, and we're gonna have our home with us, so it's it happens, not gonna be as hard like if feels. in yeah, like the Dharma was. If it happens, it happens, but like I'm not like planning on it necessarily. Okay. I think so you should plan right on before it. we leave, I'm just gonna shave my head. Oh, okay. I love you too, baby. Unless I completely change my mind. What? You've never done that so before. Possible. <laughs> yeah. Or I might just let my hair grow. I'm not yeah. really sure. Who knows? Who knows what will happen? Or am I just all fall out? I don't know. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna am finish the, breakfast here I'm and the, then head off to the store. Good morning again, everyone. It's a brand new day again for me. I just woke up from again. a nap. Again! <laughs> I say that, it's dark outside already. I laid down and I was convincing myself it was just gonna be for a few minutes. Ah! And then. It turned into a couple hour nap. I guess I was pretty tired. I've been working pretty hard, staying up pretty late. Getting up early. Trying to get all my work in. This darkness is making me tired. Julie, we are, I, I am convinced that Julie and I both have a seasonal affective disorder where, yeah, 
or sad. Which is which is when you just you're really affected by the the change in season and the lack of sunlight. Which is why we want to go places sunny. <sighs> sunny places make us really happy. Yes, yes. Years ago, we found a house in Costa Rica that we really oh really God. liked, and it was. I'll agree. It was a little out of our price range. It was in the Mitchell House days. Yeah. It's still for sale. Yeah. It was. It was a, a four million dollar house at the time. Only four million. Yeah, and we, you know, we were saving up for it, hoping it would still be on the market. Well, they've cut the price. It's now only two and a half million. It is even closer than our reach. It's almost there. I mean, almost you know, there. what is two and a half million minus a couple thousand? Oh, we're buying it. You know, we're nearly there. Say, we're buying it straight out. <laughs> Plus, we need the money to move and to take the bus there because I want the bus. You'd want the bus there. I was or thinking we could keep the bus here, I guess. I was thinking about that because <clears throat> I don't know that this Costa Rica house that we like yeah. would be able to be the house that we want with the different sections for the kids. Mm -hmm. Their own little units. Mm -hmm. So I was thinking we almost need a place here in the United States that would be that. And the Costa Rica house would be our winter house. So we would like We would have a Christmas summer house. There. Anyways, I was just thinking maybe it's not Maybe it's not our main house. The way the Costa Rica house is set up now is it's actually a rental house and they rent it out to big parties. It's so if we wanted to go stay there, it's like two thousand dollars a night to stay there. But you can have up to like twenty something people. So I mean that when you when you if you were to grab twenty people and divide that cost out, it really isn't that bad. But you'd have to have the people to make it work. I think so, so I would almost say it would be, maybe it would be like our vacation house slash um, income generator. You know, like when we're not using it as a house, we could keep it as a business. I don't know. You know, first the two and a half million dollars kind of has to be figured out before we decide how frequently honestly, we use the house. I honestly just love the design of the house and would be content having a like some bamboo houses built that were similar. close to it. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, because, it, well, because honestly, I would almost like to have a tree or something living in the center because I yeah. think that would be kind of cool. I could see that. You know, but it's more than just the design of the house that we like. <laughs> yeah, it's the fact that it's in Costa Rica. Yeah, there's that. <laughs> right, really close to the ocean. Yep. Like that's really helpful. Yeah, we are. So we'll see. Ocean. We'll keep you guys updated as we get close to our two and a half million to, to purchase or <laughs> or to build, you know, yeah. whatever whatever comes first. Ooh, build. Well, think about it. We could buy some land and just build some bamboo houses. Yeah. Instead. Yeah, we'll see. I really think we're gonna want some sort of a place here in the U.S. Mm -hmm. though. Yeah. Well, maybe we keep our so. bus on some land here. <laughs> maybe. Have someone tend to it and have it be an Airbnb or something. Yeah, that could be interesting. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna go to the store. Mm. I still love your face. You better still love my face. It's still my favorite face. Is it? Of all the faces you have. I only have one face. Says you. You wear many masks, Julie. Do I? You wear many masks. I don't wear makeup. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I um, was reading something about that. Uh -huh. What was it? Because I was reading about the fashion trends for uh, springtime. Yeah. I like to, even though I don't necessarily abide by it, I'm always curious about it. Yeah. And so it was like something like, we want to keep it simple because, I mean, when was the last time you put a full face of makeup on? And it's like... <laughs> yeah, I, when was the last time? I don't own foundation. The last time you put on a full face of makeup would probably have been somewhere in your early 20s. Yeah. I think, I think it would maybe... I mean... Yeah. It, because by by 2013 I wasn't wearing like I I wear like eye makeup sometimes and I wear by the time you married lips, me you weren't even really sometimes. wearing makeup much yeah I still wore foundation did you yeah I threw that away though eventually so yeah but yeah I uh, which is funny unless you count my face paint that's then different I did kind that's of different wear face. <laughs> that's not what they mean and you know it that's not what they mean they don't mean yeah. your clown makeup. <laughs> I love you. I mean that in a good way. I mean that in a good way. Expressive makeup. Yes. 
Yes. That's really what it is. No. I'm trying to express myself. I do think it's My art funny the similarities. Oh, between between yeah. It is interesting all the different styles. I like it. I think every anyone should feel free to express themselves however they want. Yep. It's just me personally. I I hid behind it. Yeah. It wasn't a form of expression for me. It was it was hiding away. You were trying to cover up your flaws. Mm -hmm. And why do I have to be flawless? Because I'm a girl. That's you dumb. don't. Well, in, in in all reality, your flaws are what make you unique and yeah. make you strong and powerful in some ways so don't cover those up it's it's you yeah it's you yeah i really so I, yeah i really dislike this idea that women have to be flawless to be beautiful because it's like what does that even mean so you want me to be fake to be beautiful beauty because is in the nobody, eye of the beholder julie nobody is flawless that's a falsehood i mean besides me it's a false idea <laughs> focus on my beauty you are quite lovely. I know. But, I mean, that's just it. Yeah. You and I find each other absolutely beautiful. Irresistible. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Whereas others are like, what? what are those freakos talking about? <laughs> I mean, in a good way, but, you know, yeah. we are definitely not society uh, cultural pretty. And that's mm -hmm. okay with us because we find each other that was funny. mesmerizing. That's right. And it's not because you see the reflection in yourself <laughs> in my eyes. Okay, I'm going to go to the store now. Yeah. Because if I don't go now, it's yeah. going to be later. And then, and we have, I absolutely have to go to the store because yeah. we need to make cookies tonight. Because I don't know what we would do if we <laughs> tried to have our cookie party tomorrow without any cookies. I know, I was so tired and I'm like, maybe I could just find some... Pre-made? Pre-made <laughs> cookies? <laughs> no. Well, because like... Part of, most of these are going to go out to family. Oh, that's so true. It's that's like, true. Mm, here's an idea. We can do this. We can do this. So I'm going to go to the store. Mm, I love you. I love you. All right. Just made it to the store. <laughs> it's so funny how long it can take to actually get going sometimes. Um, I'm hoping I won't have to be in there too long. <sighs> but we got to get this stuff. We got to get it ready for... Uh... Oh, there's the light. We got to get this stuff ready for our cookie party, so wish me luck, guys. Wish me luck. Just finished shopping. I totally got tricked, guys. I totally... <laughs> Julie sent me off at 6 o'clock, and I was thinking, okay, it's not going to be that big of a list. While I'm in the store, she texts me, this huge list! And I know I told her we had, we'd wanted to do our shopping to get us through... Um, Christmas so that we wouldn't have to go back for grocery shopping, but it's like ah So it's now like 830. I've been out shopping two and a half hours. We still have to make all our sugar cookies tonight <sighs> I'm just gonna take a little moment. I got some myself some of this. Have you guys ever tried this? Palm It's really good. It's just pomegranate juice. I actually I love uh, Shirley Temple's and for the longest time, I didn't know that the, the stuff they put in the soda to make it Shirley Temple is just pomegranate. I mean, it's it's not straight up pomegranate. It's, it's a derivative of pomegranate, but uh, what do they call that stuff? I don't even remember. They have a specific name for it. Grenadine. Grenadine. <laughs> but yeah, grenadine is basically just a version of pomegranate. Anyway, this stuff's pretty good. It's... It's really strong though, so I'll just drink a little bit of it and save some for Dooley. <sighs> Gonna take a break in the car just for a moment and then head home and get to work. I feel like I say that a lot. I feel like I feel like I'm always saying it's time for me to get to work. It's kind of a funny thing to me because I've encountered this attitude in the world that people who are struggling or who don't have much are that way because they're not willing to do hard work and they're not willing that they're that they're lazy essentially and I'd like to put myself up for an example I don't have a whole lot in this world in this life but I work extremely extremely hard <laughs> I am constantly working I'm just working at different things you know I'm, I'm working at keeping this vlog going which 
which takes a lot of time um, and has very little financial reward. But it has other rewards. I guess, I guess that's the thing. I guess that's the thing. I'm not willing to work really hard just for money. I, I'm willing to work for money and I'm willing to do what's required to support my family. I'm just not willing to sacrifice time with the family and the things I really care about for money. I don't know. Just a weird world we live in where I feel like some of the people that work the hardest, like who have the hardest jobs, who put in the most effort, who are constantly working, are some of the the lowest on the hierarchy of, of social status. That seems messed up. <laughs> okay. I'm going to drink this a little bit and then go home. All right, I just made it home. I need to add 81 Christmas lights to this counter. It's kind of a big deal because it's at 979 right now. We're going to cross the thousand mark. Yes. Okay, here we go. You ready? Let's see how fast I can do this. Sixty! Yay! Okay, go inside. All right, back home. I'm in the midst of helping out with some Christmas goodies. Samuel has been a huge help. He's been mixing all of the cookie doughs. And did you make the brownies too? Yep. Yeah, he's been just doing everything. So we've got brownies here, and we're gonna slather them with white chocolate and sprinkles. You want to help with that? Okay, let's do it. And Miriam is going to help make some dinner for us tonight. Yay! What are we having tonight for dinner? Nachos. Nachos. We love nachos. I melted some white chocolate already. Put it in just a sandwich bag and cut one tip open. So then, and is it, it's probably still kind of warm. Yeah, it is. So. Yeah, get it to a point where you can kind of just drizzle it over, and then let's drizzle these these brownie bites. And you can do kind of like across the whole pan to make it easier. There we go. Nice. I like your technique, buddy. Do you like doing this kind of stuff, Samuel? Mm -hmm. Me too. I really like doing this kind of stuff. Just takes time. Man, I don't know if these need sprinkles. I think they look cool just the way they are. What do you think, Miriam? I think they do too. What do you think, Sam? I think they look cool, but... One tray with sprinkles and Okay. Well, you're the baker now, so. Oh, do the next tray. We both do these ones that have sprinkles and then a little bit more frosting. Okay. So good. Sprinkles. <laughs> All right, so these brownies are just about done. We'll just let them dry up and we'll bag them up. Yay, we're making some yummy Christmas treats. And now it's cookie time. We're gonna roll them out and uh, get these cookies ready to go for tomorrow. Yes. <laughs>
There's this really cool rolling pin that I saw on Amazon that has little wheels off to the side that you adjust to the thickness that you want it to be. It's kind of a cool idea. Because it's that's that's always the hardest part is okay. Am I getting this the right thickness? You don't want it. You don't want it too thick, but you also don't want them too thin. I think this is just about right. Was that fun making cookies? Mm -hmm. Yeah, should we do some more? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's round it, round it all up. Okay. Okay. And while we've been having fun with cookies, Miriam and Mama have been making our cheese sauce. Look at that. Looking good, guys. Smells good. Yay. Do I need to roll this out, Jubilee? Okay, let's roll it out. What else are you gonna make? Um, you gonna make a unicorn right here? No. No? I'm going to make a star. <laughs> <laughs> she gonna make a star. Okay. I make a star. Okay, Beautiful. Job, baby. Right there, okay, push baby. it down. Take this out. Yeah, good job. Okay, you made a snowman. Actually, take the cheese out. Do you want to make a snowman? Yes. <laughs> All right. I want to make one more. Okay, one more. I want one to make more one more too. Oh, do the star. Okay. <laughs> right in the middle. <laughs> love it. Right in the middle. Yay! Good job, baby. I want like to make a flower now. I I I don't think there's enough room. We can do a Christmas tree right here. You want to push down? You want to push down? Good job. All right, we're gonna do the flower. Look, there's enough just for the flower. Gonna do it? <laughs> Yay! <sighs> I meant to make a show now. Oh, there's not enough now. Hmm, what can we make out of this? Can we make a circle? Huh? Mm -hmm. Like a snow globe circle? Mm -hmm. Mama, there's no cookie dough yet. No cookie dough We use it all, huh? Here, should I bake that one on here? Uh-huh. Okay. There you go. I do too. Oh, and that one? Okay, yeah. that one's all ready to go. All right. We'll set these here and they're waiting for their turn for a tray, okay? High five. Okay. High five. Boom. And we can when put all of these back nachos? in here for the next <laughs> batch. Oh, we don't have our chips behind the camera. And we will wait to do our next batch oh, until we will wait to do our next batch until these ones are all done, so that we won't have any cross contamination. We do all cookie pie. <clears throat> yeah, tomorrow we're gonna have a decorating party. Yay! Yep, and whatever cookie. Oh, I like the little ones too are all their own.